Okay, guys. In the last video, we, sh uh, we showed you how to eject your media, your CD, DVD drive using your Windows keyboard on your iMac or any Mac computer, um, like any Mac Pro, or anything like that. But today's video, uh, to today's related video, is going to show you how your optical drive to your iMac works. So, if you don't know all about optical drives well enough, like like the ones on your iMac, basically it's your slot load drive, just like in your laptop. So you can see all the mechanism, all the loading arms and such. If you guys wondering, um, there is kind of fabric around here on the on 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 this outer edge. I take the fabric all, uh, I take the fabric out so you can see the, how the mechanism works. So let's go ahead. We'll show you how it works. So I got my CD top hits. So basically, what you need to do um, uh, uh, to insert it is you have to put it in facing you. The reason why the, the, that you need to put it in facing you is because the mechanism is facing you. Like, look. You see the mechanism is facing this way. Alright? So, it, it, it's like a guide. So, when you... So when you put your disc in here, it needs to. It's because the the label needs to face this face face this way. It's because the mechanism is is right underneath the screen. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll show you how it works. So we're gonna put this disc in here, label side facing you. It's because the mechanism is facing you. And so you just insert it. Alright, see, you have to insert it all the way in in order to activate the mechanism. So let me show you. So you just put this in, you have to push all the way in, there it goes, and there is, and, and, there, and there is little leather, or what you call it, that just come up. This is called a stopper. This, this... This part prevents this another disc from being inserted into the drive. So let me show you. I got this disc in here so you can see what I try to insert it. See? You can feel it. It doesn't, um, uh, which it helps prevents another disc from being inserting it and cause excessive damage to, major damage to your drive, which you don't want. Alright? So, so, so right now the disc is spinning. Now it's stopped. It's because it, it's because there's no activity going on, so it should takes time to rest. So let's go ahead. We'll open up my finder here. But before let me get out of the full screen player here. Let's see a finder. We want go to my computer. There it goes. Uh, and of course, let me. Of course, here's your drive with the disk icon show up. If you go here, right click and then click open, and you can hear it seeking, like it's it's doing what I call it. it's reading it. Look. So it kind of goes through all the tracks and it's just, it's, a, it's like a scan. Let me maximize that. Let's see. You get a laser reading it. Yep. There's 20 tracks on the CD. So when I uh, click on one of them, or double click it, it should open up iTunes right away. And here it is.
I'll turn the volume up a little bit. That's probably good enough. Not too loud, but you know. Hmm. -mm. Why it's taking so long? Let me force quit that. We'll ignore that. And we'll try it again. Come on. Here's your audio CD. Let's see, come on. Huh. Wanna know why it's not playing? Probably the disc is scratched up, so let so let's e let's eject that real quick. Come on. Huh. Why is it not ejecting? That was weird. Hmm. Go up to Finder. Oh. Right, so let's open up Terminal here. We'll make this big so you can see. Come on, baby. Let's see. Applications. Oh. That sound. That sound kind of. That's strange. Yeah. So it's thinking. Um. I yeah. I know why it's making that sound. It's because the laser or the arm needs to like. It needs to think that it's all the way parked. So let's see here. Excuse me, that's my burp. Let's see. Let's see here. Come on, baby. Let's see. Do a tool. Oh, geez, there's a bug. Dang it. Oh, 